you have made a tremendous impact on their lives. And all of them thank you very much. One that we truly will never forget. We recognize, we respect, and appreciate all of the valuable skills, knowledge, and knowledge that you have shared with us. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Of course, it would not be true, save for fashion, without one of our over-the-top assemblies. <laughs> um, and if you didn't end your time here without one, Mrs. Buscemi, it is with great pleasure that we honor you today. You are definitely 
There are those who seek knowledge to be known by others. That is charity. There are those who seek knowledge in order to serve. That is love. Mrs. Ducharme inspires each of her students and faculty to use their knowledge to help others, to serve one another. That is truly love. It has been a privilege to work alongside Mrs. Ducharme for the past three years, encouraging our students both academically and spiritually. I, will never forget her impact on our economy. I offer my sincere gratitude for Mrs. Ducharme's many years of dedication and service to our children. May you have a well-deserved, blessed, peaceful retirement. Best wishes, Monsignor J. Ramon.
Many of us have worked alongside you for 17 years. And during your years here, you have been there for your faculty 100% of the time. You have helped us through births and deaths and health issues and the everyday duties of teaching. Not one person on this faculty can say that you were not there for them on more than one occasion. The most comforting way to begin each day was when we would stop by your office in the morning to say hello. We all knew that if you were in, which was usually always, that no matter what happened that day, you would be there for us. You have this commanding presence about you. You are calm in the face of chaos. You offer words of wisdom when we can't seem to find them ourselves. And you know exactly how to make a person feel special about something they've done in their classroom. Mrs. Boucher, you're an incredible woman. And we rank you up there with Eleanor Roosevelt, Margaret Thatcher, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. From the moment we met you, we knew you were a special person. You learned the names of every child in this school before it started that first September. And you have known the names of every child that walked the halls of this school for 17 years. You will not have to learn the names students, but you are embedded in the hearts of everyone who has ever known you. It has been an honor and a privilege to work alongside you. You enrich not only my life, but the lives of every faculty member. Your faculty wishes you joy and peace in the next chapter of your life. Rosa Parks once said, each person must live their life as a model for others. Mrs. Buscemi, you have modeled grace and wisdom every day of your life at St. Bernard Catholic Academy. Congratulations.
We are regarding leadership and excellence, academically, intellectually, socially, morally, and spiritually. You have worked in a spirit of collaboration and given us much of your own time to enhance the special programs and the events that the Academy sponsors, thus making learning and teaching experiences very, very special. Now you bid farewell to the phase of your life that is an inevitable. Retirement is another word for transition, from academia to other personal and family pursuits. The board, of, the board and the St. Clair community have been proud and pleased with your efforts and the sacrifices. You remain a Catholic role model and leave a legacy of accomplishment in your success. We want to take this opportunity to thank you and wish you and your family a healthy, happy, and blessed life. God bless you, John Rivero.
he stands up.
like September 5th, she said, I'm going to take you around the neighborhood. She had a big tan, what do you call it? Okay, a big tan car. I got in the front, Erin and Patrick were in the back, I never heard them speak. She took me all around the neighborhood, showed me, this is where the kids play ball, this is, you know, the pizzeria, this is, so I became much more familiar with the neighborhood so I could understand the students better. So I have always been indebted to Kathy for her support, her concern throughout the years. As a new principal, it isn't always easy. I know that um, Ms. Flanagan has had a lot of help from Mrs. Buscemi over the last couple of weeks, but I just hope that everyone, parents, students, teachers, give Ms. Flanagan their support because that will keep St. Bernard School great. And I have two letters that Mrs. Buscemi wrote to me one in 1989, it's a very, very short letter. This one just was to encourage me through a difficult situation. It says, hang in there, you're doing a great job at LLS, you're fighting to make the school better. Continue with my support, love, Kathy. The other one is a much longer one, I'm not going to read it, but I wrote it so that Kathy can see it. It's a project that she did with her sixth grade writing project. And they had to write, they read a book called um, Thank You by Alex Haley. And the student part of the project from the book was to write a letter to someone that they wanted to thank. So one of her students said, do you have anyone to thank, anybody you admire that you would write a letter to? And so she wrote this long, letter to me. And that just encouraged me so much. And I uh, retired after 28 years at Our Lady of the Snows. And so much of my early encouragement was thanks to Mrs. Buscemi.
We had the snow from this road as a kindergarten teacher. We had four kindergartens. When I received a phone call to call Joseph, I said to him, the speaking of him, Joseph, I know Kathy. It's an honor to be invited, but why am I invited? I didn't know. So he said to me, Sister, when she brought Joseph on, she spoke to you about teaching. And resumes, Kathy, I don't know what I said. <laughs> but what I said, thank you very much. Over the years, I've met Kathy, professional medal, but indeed, a graduation.
professional, engaging, hardworking, patient, honest, a good listener, and caring. I was once sold to be a teacher to such a large driver, and it's to show me that you have done and done well. A good principal is hard to find, difficult to part with, and impossible to forget. Mr. Shani, you have left, left an incredible mark on this community, working out a lot for a very long time. The Citizen Association and the community wish you a long, fun-filled, and healthy and happy retirement. South Police, Bergen Beach Citizen Association, present. Father of Gregory L. Police, Class 2019, and Mary Police, Class 2017.
But she remembered years later, when Sister Joan Martin was looking for a teacher in the middle of the year, she gave Sister Joan Martin my name, and that's how I wound up at St. Dallas. And I always said, I've modeled myself. Sister Joan at St. Dallas, she cared about the kids, she cared about her teachers, and she cared about the parents. And I truly learned how to be a good principal. I model myself on her and on Sister Roberta. I work with Sister Roberta as a sub, as the homeschool president, and she loved those kids. And I kept my kids in a lane of snows because of her. And people come and people go in your life, but life is really a circle. And always be good to people because you never know where you're going to meet them again. And you're never going to know the impact you have on their life. And everyone who has walked through the doors of St. Bernard, students, teachers, and parents, you have had a tremendous impact on my life. And I especially want to thank my husband and Rainey, who 17 years ago, when Rainey and I were working for someone who was really not a good principal, because sometimes you learn things from people who are not good at their job. And as my husband so eloquently put it, if he could do it, you certainly could do it. <laughs> and then I went for my interview with Father Ralph, and we just connected, and 17 years later, here I am. But I know I'm leaving you in very good hands that I'm trusting you to this planet. And I am going to be consulting for the superintendent's office, mentoring new principals, so I'll be around just to check up on them. <laughs> and Ms. Lanigan, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for organizing this. And to my fellow faculty members, you know I love you. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts from the St. Bernard Catholic Academy families. And thank you, Mrs. Police, for organizing this for everyone. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. your summer reading. Every single student in the school wrote you a letter to your retirement and you have thousands of books for you. Robert and Tamara have a bouquet of edible flowers for you. Thank you for the bottom of that one. 